Hey guys, welcome back to Henry's Hill Tutoring. And today a quick video about address resolution protocol and how you can use it to better understand what's out there on your networks and be aware of different events that may take place without you knowing. Let's have a look. So this is a workstation I set up quickly for this demonstration. If I run this ARP command, which is present on both Windows and Linux platforms, we can see the current ARP cache that this machine has. And this is just a list of all the bindings from the layer two MAC address to the layer three IP address that's assigned to different machines that this host knows about on its locally attached networks. In this case, you can see there's two different networks and each network is bound to its own interface. But what if you wanted to check very quickly without having to ping and check individual addresses, what's out there? There is a command you can use called ARP scan. If we run this and specify the subnet address of one of our networks, it will go through and scan and produce a list of different returns. Now, these are only going to be present in the ARP cache if I actually talk to them normally. So I can do an ARP-A and I can grep for one of these. Let's pick this host here and see if it's present. It's not, so that means I haven't spoken to it yet from this ARP scan virtual machine. If I do a ping to that address, we'll get a response in this case, and I can check my ARP entry again, and I can see, hey, there's an entry now. So that's, with ping, that's a way you can sort of manually do a spot check and say, hey, is there something there? And regardless of if it responds or not, it's gonna create an ARP entry. So let's have a look here again. There's an example host in here. This happens to be a Windows machine that has a firewall. So if I do a ping to it, it won't respond. It also has no TCP or UDP ports open that would respond either. So I wouldn't be able to, to discover the machine on my network unless I was to scan for it using a tool like this and to check for an a address resolution protocol re reply to one of my requests. So this is sort of how ARP scan can be useful to you to help you enumerate machines that are out there that you may not be able to see with more traditional scan techniques. One other useful command to be aware of is the ARP watch command. This can be installed in a very easy manner simply by doing apt install ARP watch on a Ubuntu or Debian based system that has this package available. This will go up, pull down a new copy for you. In this case, it's already installed, so it's not gonna do a whole lot. And once it's uh, installed on your system, you can run systemctl start arpwatch at, and then the interface that you want to run arpwatch on. You can do this on multiple interfaces. In this case, I have it active on two. And if I do a grep for ARP watch in my process list, we'll see it's running twice effectively, one uh, process per interface. Now you can see here there's an email address I've specified. This tells ARP watch to send any alerts about new stations or changes to existing stations to this address. To set that up, you need to go into etc ARP watch after you've uh, installed it, of course, and you need to create some files. There's a readme here that gives you an example of how to do it very quickly. Basically, you just need to echo this string contents into the file in question that corresponds to the interfaces that you're trying to listen to. So for instance, on ens18.iface, we have the if underscore args configuration statement specifying dash m and the email address of mine. So if I now go over to my email client, I can see alerts that are being sent to this address to tell me about new workstations that may come online, what their IP address is, and what their MAC address is. I can also see in here, there's some of these flip-flop messages. And these are messages telling us that there's been some kind of a change. The IP address of 192.1.13 suddenly is now being occupied by a different network card or MAC address. And that can be alerting us to things like maybe an address conflict or someone trying to overtake an address that was previously in use by something else. You see, in the process list you saw, there was a .dat file. And that file contains a listing of 
physical MAC addresses to IP addresses on your network so that the ARPWatch command knows when a change occurs. So this is sort of a way you can know about what's going on out there on your network on a more passive basis. You don't have to always be scanning. This will scan for you. Should it see a new station show up, it'll alert you to it, and you can be aware of it, the fact that something else showed up on your network, maybe when you weren't expecting it. Anyways, uh, if you've enjoyed this content, please be sure to like and subscribe, and click that little bell so you can see new videos of mine when they come out. If you have any feedback or questions at all, please be sure to leave them below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care and I'll see you next time.